Right, so we're going to start off with some browned mincemeat. Put a few sliced onions in a hot pan. Going to hit it with a bit of sliced celery. And next we're going to chuck in a few little bit of carrot. A little bit of chopped garlic. This comes frozen from Iceland. It's an absolute godsend. I absolutely love the stuff. Very, very nice and easy and convenient. Then we're going to hit it with some Spitfire Ale. The stuff's delicious. It costs about £1.40 in Sainsbury's. I don't really drink it myself, but it's good for cooking. Now back in with the mince. Give it a little stir, don't forget. And now we add a little bit of flour to thicken it up. And next, we're going to do a bit of uh, beef stock. This is a Nor beef stock cube. A bit of hot water, give it a mix. And then we're going to add it to the rest of the boys and girls in the pan. Nice and easy. Now we're going to hit it with some herbage. Let's get about a half a teaspoon of thyme in there, or how much you like. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of parsley, about a half a teaspoon as well. And next we're going to hit it with some rosemary. I like rosemary. Very, very fragrant. It's an elegant herb, I reckon. Good flavours there. And next we're going to go in for about another half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now we're just going to close the lid off and leave it for about half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour. Here I've got some Maris Pipers, best all-round potato on the planet, for me anyway. Make sure you slice it up really nice and thin, like so. Very fine slices. Got to have some good knife skills there. And back to the mince. Add a few frozen peas in there for a bit of extra flavour and sweetness. Then we're going to hit it with some fresh parsley and what you want to do next you want to transfer all to a baking dish like so any casserole dish really would do it depends how much you want to make and then what you're going to do you're going to layer your sliced potatoes all over the top and then sprinkle a bit of parsley a bit of salt and a bit of pepper and then we're going to transfer it to the oven but wrap it in foil for the first sort of 45 minutes and then take it off for about 15 minutes and crank it up and this is what you're left with and then we're going to hit it with a bit of cheese to finish it off because we all like cheese just makes it so much more good and rich and tastes delicious this is just a medium cheddar and this is what you're left with so just let the cheese melt a bit and then it crisps up and you just have a nice delicious Mid beef and our hot pot. Look at that. Delicious, delicious, delicious stuff, eh? Very crispy, old oh, man. Bloody enjoyed it as well. And all that's left to do is plate it up. I served mine with some frozen peas, <sighs> which have obviously been cooked, and a good old glug of Bisto Best chicken. Enjoy. <laughs> 